I want to welcome everybody to the Transition Designer Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to look at masks in Photoshop, and the most exciting part from the Transition Designer, time mapping. I'm going to show you how you can create and use an invisible dissolve with a mask to pull the object through. Let's look at the effect more closely, one frame at a time. The bus drives through and pulls the next frame along with it at the same time. Here the complete sequence. Okay, so how does this effect work? We have two individual clips. One, the bus. Two, the bus as it's driving away. Now I have the bus as it's driving away. So it's important to find the position in the clip where the mask needs to be the biggest. That means I'm going to create a screenshot. We're going to call it bus number three. Change over to Photoshop and load the bus. Create two new layers and draw here. A rough mask with a soft edge for the motion blur so that the edge of the mask doesn't look too hard. Fill the layer with black and the layer underneath with white. Save the whole thing as a Photoshop file. That's very important. I'm going to call the next file Bus 3 Mask. Then I'll change back over to Premiere and now I have two possibilities. I can put the transition directly on. The movement must already be in motion. That means I will go in and put it roughly here. Then put the transition designer on it. I can choose the time generously since I can adjust it later. The wipe is the basis for this type of effect. I can either incorporate the mask Click on the transition designer, put a check mark on customize, and choose the layer 2 for the basis of my dissolve. Then I have to turn the track off. An alternative for those who don't want to do that, it's also possible to do it the other way around, when the mask underneath is. I don't have to turn it off and on. For those who like to have an easier view in the timeline, they can also choose image. Then load the mask. It was bus number three. Here at this point, it can be a bit confusing because there are two things we can do. Important is that the mask in its position should first be adjusted using time remapping, not transform. Let's take a look at the effect and of course how and why. I set my keyframe on this position here and now the mask, it fits perfect. Now I go back to the beginning. At this point, the bus isn't even in the picture. I move slowly forward. Okay, here come the tail lights. While holding the control key, I have the possibility to make subtle steps with the mouse. I can see this edge is pretty clean. On this position, I have to adjust a little bit. And here, just a little. And here again, just a little. Okay, 
How do the results look this far? It's almost where we want to have it, but I'm sure you can see that the mask cuts off some of the picture. And how are we going to fix it? It's simple. I click on transform, and with transform, you can compensate the small irregularities. That means the coarse displacements of the mask can be corrected in time remapping. The above position of the mask will be smooth and the other points will be smoothed. Now I'm going to go here and move the mask until it sits correctly. We can see below that the whole bus is there. I have a pretty nice edge. Ok, the bus rolls into motion. I can slowly see the problem area. That means I start here and shove the mask upwards. Here behind, I can see the bus is a little too high. Okay, now it's gone. Let's look at the results again. He gets up, the bus pulls out. The next one in, and all around clean edges. It doesn't flatter, and that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope I was able to help you understand some of the great possibilities of the transition designer. Until then, I'll see you next time.